Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Secret Revelations. I am Tom, this is another mod review or spotlight as you were. Uh, this is Quidcraft, um, including the craft from Minecraft and the quid from Quidditch, um, the game that is in the uh, Harry Potter lore. So um, let's get underway. Now you've probably realised that I've got these the Quidditch, Quidditch, Quidditch hoops. Um, very symmetrically done and in the middle of the pitch is this chest now we're going to come on how to craft these later uh let's just get rid of that okay now i have all these chests over here just telling you which is which and what's what so the next thing uh, to do is to craft your specific items so in my first chest we have this, uh, which is the Quidditch chest, which I just destroyed a minute ago. Now, actually, this is going to be useless to show you how to craft now, because you haven't seen how to craft the bludger, the snitch, or the quaffle. And if you're a newbie, don't know how to craft a chest. And I'm not telling you that, by the way. So actually, let's go to the very end. Into the very end chest. First of all, you're going to need to grab yourself some iron ingots and into the crafting table you need to put in a formation like the one that I'm surrounding with my cursor. Right, four iron and one bone. And this gives you a bludger. Um, so these are all the balls that you'll need uh, to play the game properly. You can install this onto a server um, and play with your mates, which is brilliant. So I am very tempted to ask uh, Peter to put it on the uh, Revelations public server. In the next chest, we show you how to craft the Golden Snitch and the, the Quaffle. And uh, the Quaffle is uh, pretty simple. Four leather and the Golden Snitch. You need to kill a few chickens and get two feathers and a Golden Ingot. So. Let's grab these. In this chest we need to make a broomstick and a bat. Uh, so you'll need some wheat and two sticks to make the um, broomstick. And for the bat you'll need a stick and two wood. So these are all being placed into the crofting bench at an angle. <coughs> this one, it shows you how to create the snitch glove. Which is a leather glove. And it's just two leather in a crafting table. In this one you get the bludger glove um, which is two iron. To create the net um, like the ones that are actually positioned inside the uh, wood for the hoops uh, you need to put in an X formation uh, ugh, sorry five white wool and then the closest chest shows you how to create the Quidditch chest uh, which is where you get all three balls, two bludgers, uh, a quaffle and a snitch and obviously the chest in the middle. So let's quickly grab that. So what you can also do is instead of having to construct these, because I didn't make these, um, you can just pop it down here and then right click and it forms these perfect uh, sets of hoops. And I do believe I've done that so well that they actually line up with each other. Ooh, just off. Okay, so that is how you do that. So now... So they'll stay there even when you delete the chest. So what we'll do is... We can put our broom down. And uh, we can right click to get on it. Now if you go into your options menu and go to your controls, uh, you will see that there are some added um, key bindings. So uh, your broom up and your broom down, which is hidden by my done button. You need a big screen. <laughs> you need a bigger screen. Um, so uh, broom up, I've got as apps, uh, which is the little menu button just next to my control button on the uh, right hand side of my keyboard. And number pad one is on my number pad. Just because I'm a lefty and that's why I have it. I think ordinarily they're right control to go down, C to go up, that's for right-handed, so 
quite handy actually just having them just below you yep oh well so you can like you can actually just like go along the bottom actually but then when you want to take off um there we go as you can see there are the hoops close up ah now i am wearing some strange armor and it's not to do with the texture pack because this is an ordinary texture pack oops i was in creative mode oh well so to craft these items you're going to need to simply use wool so let me grab myself a crafting bench and a couple of sets of wool there we go Let's put that crafting bench down there so you create the armor or the weird like thing that i'm wearing the same as you would with armor so chest plate is this there you go a um headband uh, and then the other one that you get is a headband uh, which you create simply like this okay. you are you do get different colors there are all the different colors i don't know why it didn't make red maybe i was using a wrong shade of red orange even mm, colorblind so yeah uh but let's go and test out game mechanics I'll go in creative mode just in case I fall off. There we go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh god. Right, immature behaviour. Right. So let's release. Uh, I need to put my gloves on actually. I, I didn't grab. Well you don't put them on but there we go. So the bludger here. So let's release the bludger. Where's it gone? Oh my god. I believe the bludger is actually just to make the, your game more annoying, uh, which is certainly going into practice. Which I think you've probably got to try and dodge somehow. But let's catch that bludger. Um, oops. don't know whether <laughs> and then when you right click uh, when you've got the glove glove in your hand it will just simply put it back for you put it like back into inventory so let's get back on my look my bob look thing and release oopsie daisy sorry about that now what you can do is uh, there's a clever mechanic that they've added into the mod uh, now the quaffle, which is the main ball which you throw into these hoops to score, you're probably thinking, well, why can't you just throw it through them? Why do they have to have this net here? Because they don't in or more Harry Potter lore. Well, something very clever. So say you're you're flying to victory here, and suddenly you miss. Oh god. Okay, I thought this would happen. Let's pick it up. Let's go up and score! Score! Oh, please. Take off. Yes! Now, you may have seen it before I went and accidentally picked it up again. But you can. What it will do is it will turn green. When you score, when you go and pick it up, it will go back so you know that you've scored clever now i do believe when you release the quaffle or whatever ball i just released the bludger that's annoying you can attempt to hit it with your bat which i believe does keep it away without doing you any blowback or whatever so you just hit that and you you kind of make it go away let's descend Ooh. <sighs> well, 
Super. Trying to catch it. There we go. So now let's go for the golden snitch. This is obviously very difficult, and I think I just let it loose accidentally. Damn it. We're never going to be able to find that because I didn't know what, what direction it went in. So let's take off. Let's get up in the air and release the golden snitch. There it is down there. Or not, of course. Oh, where's it gone? Okay, so I lost that. So I saw it. I can tell we're going to lose a few of these, so let's grab a few. There's something down there. <laughs> it's kind of embedded in the ground. Which might make it easier to catch. Oh! No! There we go, we can see it in action now. The controls are so messed up. Please, let's just... Oh, well, this here is uh, the Quidcraft mod. A very, very annoying mod, but incredibly cleverly done. Uh, thank you for watching. See you uh, next time.